offense maybe a little while to get going there in the second quarter, and uh, maybe you got it to four there at the start of the third. Do you remember anything about the uh, the run that Indiana had midway through the third that kind of pulled them back out in front? I think by twenty four. Yeah, I mean we had a couple of turnovers that hurt us, and then. Uh, I mean, to me, it's the biggest thing is, like, right now when we're moving the ball, you know, we're not trying to play like ISO, which we're not good at. We're pretty good offensively, but there's just too many possessions when that doesn't happen. You spoke a lot about Brandon this year, to have a 35-point game, and just what he's been able to do in terms of adjusting to seeing more defensive attention. And as uh, he's still every night kind of surprising you with the way he's kind of rising to the I'm not me, but I mean, you know, he, look, he works hard. He's very diligent, and that's the way it works. He's got a lot of talent. He works hard. You're going to get better. So he's getting better for the right reasons. He's being double teamed now. He did a good job against that, passing out of it. And um, I think he'll get better and better. Coach, I know this may not be ideal because you guys are under man, but is there any kind of positives of getting these young guys some good playing <laughs> and being able to kind of work those kinks out on the court in real time? Um, I think that what you want to be careful of in a situation like this is that you, where they're going to learn the most is to play in intense games that really matter. You know, so, I mean, let's call it what it is. So, tonight, you know, Halliburton didn't play in the fourth quarter, right, or he played very little. They're not going to learn as much. I, I See, I would – when people say that, this is just me over the years watching, you have to be careful, like – it's important that they do learn and that we have an environment where we're playing to win, which tonight they are. We're trying hard. Our effort is good. But that's the stuff that you're going to pay for. Like, you, you don't want to be picking and choosing when the most important thing is not winning. I know that for a fact. Just been around a lot of different kinds of teams. And when you go in the locker room and you start doing the, well, let's just see how Joey does tonight, you're sending the entirely wrong message. They know who deserves to play and not play. And I can't tell you over the years, because um, obviously this can be a conflict between coach and management, right, or whatever, but uh, I can't tell you, you know, how many times, you know, whatever, you draft somebody and you're so committed to them that you're cheering for them instead of evaluating them. Guys have to earn their minutes, and that's the way we're going to do it. I won't coach here. I won't coach anywhere because you're hurting the player. So can you learn some things? Yeah, and guess what? I learn stuff in practice every day too. You can learn something every day. You can watch a guy every day. But, yeah, I'm not, I'm not a proponent of that. I want us to play better. I want us to get our guys back so the games are more. Uh, we have a better chance to play well every night, and that's when they'll learn more. Not that they're not now. This is good and all that, but it's, it's – it's not what Brandon Miller was getting the first 10, 12, 15 games of the year. It's a different intensity. That's just the fact of it. So, you know, I always think, <clears throat> I won't even tell you who told me this, but a long time ago somebody said, be careful of the teams who are eliminated that put too much stock into the last 20, 25 games because you can make a lot of mistakes on players or even the way you play because the games are different, okay? And... Uh, I have been proud of the way our guys play. Even tonight, we tried hard. Um, but that stuff, how you evaluate all of it, all of it, including what you're doing, you have to be careful with. Good? Oh, uh, yep, yeah, I'm sorry. sorry um, how do you think your backcourt held up tonight? I was pretty injured. Yeah, I, I mean, but, you know, I'm, they, you know, both both Ish and Nick got three fouls in the first half, you know, so we got a little bit messed up there. You know, we used Brandon to handle and initiate offense a little bit, which he did a good job, but it's just hard because they were double teaming him. Um, and again, you know, we got back into, you know, even in the fourth, we had it to eight. So, I mean, again, the effort's good. We got to move the ball better, you know, to me. Like, that's the biggest thing is when we're hitting the paint, the ball's getting to the second side of the floor, our offense is good, it's flowing. We got to learn how to trust the pass more, trust each other. And, um, you know, that, that's part of this, how we have to evolve without, you know, I mean, you're playing without one of the most creative players in the world in Mello. Terry obviously creates a lot of shots, and Gordon is the other one. So, when you, you know, when you get used to playing a certain way, and now we just have to, you know, just flick the switch a little bit and move the ball, move our bodies a little bit more, and we have more than enough offense on the floor to play well for four quarters. And any update on if Lamelo will play tomorrow? 
Yeah, no idea. He was really sore today, so I, I you know, I don't know. I'll be honest, and I mean this truthfully. I think all I care about is I'm going to watch the film. I'm going to figure out what we need. That's not my stuff there. I got to get ready for the game. It takes a long time to get ready for an NBA game, so I don't sit around and worry about that. They'll tell me who can play tomorrow. We'll have play A. These guys play plan B. Bop, 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 bop. Then you got to figure out what to run, what you're going to do defensively. So that's that's not in my that's not in my area. Assuming you guys have the same setup tomorrow in the back, what do you want to see differently, obviously, from maybe Dish or Bryce, Nick? I mean, what happened? Well, I mean, no, I mean, I think they did well. I mean, it's not – listen, you know, what what you have to do is you have to play to your strengths and help your teammates play better. They all tried to do that. So, I mean, I don't – you know, I, I don't I don't know. You know, I love when people say, you know, they step up. Well, if they step up, they're probably like – you know, really, you know what I mean, like prolific scorers, you know, like we're not looking for those guys to get 50, and I thought they played fine. Um, I think we got to move the ball better. You know, I think we got to get to more loose balls, you know, which tonight we didn't do. Um, you know, we screwed up some pick and roll coverages in the first quarter, which we did the same thing in Oklahoma City, which was a big reason why we were behind early. You know, so we've got to get that part down, but I mean, again, I haven't watched the film, but I thought those guys, you know, when you get three fouls in the first half, that takes away your rhythm and it hurts things. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Go ahead. You're a positive guy, and just from a human level. Say that again <laughs> to, so he can hear it. How, how are you not letting it wear on you? Well, <clears throat> the one thing I do know is this, just because I'm old enough to have done this and experienced, not, not quite like this, but before, is this. It's like anything you do, and I've told them this in life, it can't be about you. You know, this is a team sport. And what I have to think about more right now, although you should do this as a coach all the time, is them. Because you guys don't see how disappointed a Miles Bridges is, a Brandon Miller is, how upset Cody Miller, uh, Cody Martin when they lose. You guys don't see that, but I do. Mike does. And you know the guys that it really hurts and some guys not as much, okay? And my job is to make this next whatever it is, I don't even know how many games we have left, but two months, a positive where we are getting something out of it. Where that messaging, what I talked about today, about playing to win, that's a big deal, in my opinion, a big deal. Because, you know, there's a difference between, uh, you know, losing a lot of games and being a losing player. And, it, and it's all about stuff like that. The easiest thing is you say, oh, let's play the young guys. And then there are no expectations. Who's going to get anything out of that? You know, we can all work less. Our staff won't do that. None, the performance people want the strength. And that part is absolutely critical. But I do think that, you know, you have to have a perspective and objectives and goals of what you can do for the rest of the year. And what we can do is play hard which we did tonight. And we can get better on offense and better on defense and have goals for them individually to get better. And that is not what you want as a coach, but it's where we're at. And that's, you know, sometimes you have to adjust, you know, in midseason, and that's what we're doing.